Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios, and today is officially mail day at our house. So, I ordered a beach comer, and she's in this box, ready to be opened. So, uh, let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, Beachcomber is the 2017 Briar flagship horse. And to be a flagship store, you have to be a brick and mortar store, so you need to actually have a storefront. And you need to have ordered $2,500 worth of product at one time. So like all at once, not broken up throughout the year, but one whole order needs to be $2,500. Um, this year we weren't able to be a flagship store because we are so small up here in the Upper Peninsula. But I decided that I was going to go get my beach comer from somewhere else because I don't really regret selling my Chanel, but I kind of regret not having one on this mold, and I'm in love with chestnut pintos. This is beach comer. And we're actually going to totally unbox her on video because instead of horse that this is instead of a horse um, going up in our store, this is actually my horse, so I get to totally unbox her and get her out for you guys, and then add some pictures onto the video um, of her totally. Um, so she looks really good. There's a little bit of overspray on the mane, but actually I think I can go in and touch that up. Um, but no blurred spots from what I can see. And I know some people complain about her lip, how quirky her lip is, but I actually think it's kind of cute. Because um, I know my pony sometimes does that little thing with his lip. So let's get her open. And then this will be quicker. I can just loosen these and pull her out. Almost there. Okay, so here we have Beachcomber. And for those of you guys who have seen the um, Stone Country Fair videos so far, um, or seen the posts on our Facebook page, she is almost the same color as uh, Mosley, the one of a kind that I just bought. But definitely a much, much bigger pattern. Um, Tobiano pattern, much like my own pony, my real pony. And Beachcomber is actually meant to be a Shinkatig pony. And this is, I'll read you guys off the back of the box what it actually says about her. <clears throat> The Shinkatee Pony has long enchanted the minds and hearts of generations. Immortalized by Marguerite Henry's classic books, as well as Briar models, these hardy ponies have called Virginia's Assateague Island their home since the 17th century. They were likely brought to Assateague by early, by early area settlers who turned their horses loose to graze on the island, although there are tales of the ponies coming to the island by shipwreck. Whatever their origin, Assateague's population of ponies has thrived. Surviving on the marsh grasses, these ponies typically stand 12 to 13 hands high and often have pinto coloring. The herd is owned by the Chincoteague Volunteer Fire Company, and every summer these saltwater cowboys round up the ponies for their annual pony penning. After a swim across the Assateague Channel to Chincoteague Island, some of the foals are auctioned off, which keeps the herd at a healthy and sustainable size. Beachcomber is a Chincoteague pony mare sporting a lovely pinto coat, limit, limited edition of only 3,000 pieces, scoop her up before she swims away. So I've actually been to the pony swim when I was really young and it was definitely an unforgettable event. I would love to go back. Um, but I <laughs> I think this is a very, very fitting mold for a Shinkatig pony. And I can't wait to show her as such. I am gonna keep her as a Shinkatig pony. Um, although she could be definitely a number of breeds. I know this, this 
is meant to be a Connemara pony, you could probably do like a British riding pony or something of the spotted variety. Um, but even her eyes are painted really well. Um, and she just has a beautiful coat. Definitely gonna need some touch-ups in this area. Um, my Chanel had the same problem. It's not very visible in other areas. It looks like the rest of her mane is painted really well. Um, but just that teeny little spot, I can take a brush in and just like finish up those edges and she'll be looking good as new. But otherwise, I don't see anything wrong with her. And I'm absolutely in love with how this mold looks in Pinto. So I did a little bit of digging on the Chinktique Pony Swim for you guys because I haven't been there since I was like seven years old. Um, but I thought that it would be a little bit more interesting to share with you guys some Shinkti Pony history as opposed to just opening Beachcomber. Um, the, this is actually the 92nd year of the Shinkti Pony Swim and it happens every year the last week of July and they round up the ponies on Asti and it's always the uh, Virginia side that they round up on. The horses that are on the Maryland side um, are actually totally feral and they're not owned by the Shinkatee Fire Department at all. They reside on that side of the island and never um, are maintained. Um, but the roundup of these Shinkatee ponies is definitely a good thing for the horses. Um, it, it plucks out foals from the herd, it raises money to keep putting back into Assateague Island. So when these horses are initially rounded up, they're all kept on Assateague and you can actually drive over to Assateague and see them. Um, and they're there for about, I would say, almost a week um, so that they can be vet checked and make sure that they're healthy before they swim them over to the mainland. Um, and when they do swim them over to the mainland, I believe this year it's actually going to be Wednesday, one of the last Wednesdays in July, um, probably the 20, 25th, I believe. And then the 26th, the day after that, is the pony auction in which they actually will auction off um, most of the foals if not some of the older horses um, from the herd before they swim them back. Now last year they raised, um, the average bid um, for horses was around $3,000, which to be honest is not that bad of a price for a horse. The low bid was around $500 and the highest bid was about $11,000. Still not bad for a horse. Um, but if you're looking for a really cool little town um, and a just really awesome, awesome event to go to during the summer, I would definitely go to Shinkteague and check out the Pony Swim. Um, and you can find more information on that. Just Google Shinkteague Pony Swim. I'm sure it will come up with all the details um, on where to stay, how to get there, and so on and so forth. And actually around that same time is also the Shinkteague Blueberry Festival, which would be super fun to hit up as well. But in the meantime, we have Beachcomber. I'll make sure to go out and get some pictures. Um, we might actually, uh, if the weather gets nicer, um, take her and a couple others down to the actual beach of Lake Superior and get some photos, which would be really cool for this mare. I'd love to see her near the water. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, Pony Pals. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment what you think about Beachcomber because I think she's absolutely stunning and I would love to hear your opinions or if you found one, because I know some people were having a hard time even finding them. Um, and don't forget to like this video if you like the content and you like Beachcomber. I'll see you in the next video, Pony Pals. Bye!